I'm Kyle Green with the Green Me Outdoors. Went out today and harvested some beautiful mallards, my favorite game meat on the planet Earth. Now, a lot of people duck hunt, but they don't enjoy eating them. A lot of times when you're packing up the decoys, people are saying, well, you can take the birds or you can clean them, you can have them. I've always despised that way of thinking because I knew how to clean them properly. A lot of people eat them normal and they'll just breast them out and cook them. And when you do that, you're not giving the meat a chance to break down and give it the opportunity to shine the way it could. Breaking down the meat using the dry aging process will release the blood, which carries a lot of foul flavor, and it'll break down the meat to make it more tender, giving it a really great, amazing taste that is nothing like breasting the duck out and just throwing it on the grill. Once you do this, you will never go back, and now I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so step one when doing this is you have to get all the feathers off. And this is what turns a lot of people off because it's a little bit time consuming. But with mallards, it's actually not that hard. It is widely known that the sooner you do it, the easier it will be. You're gonna grab clumps of feathers starting with the breast. You're gonna reach to the base there and pull forward towards the head. And when you do that, it'll make them come off in clumps and a little bit easier. So always down towards the head. That's how I do it and you'll start to see everything exposed as you go. And now these little white pin feathers, stuff like that here, not a big deal. We're gonna show you how to get those off after this. Now that I've got most of the feathers off, there's a little bit of down on there still. And these hairs, they actually have hairs. If you look at them finely, you can see that they still have hairs on there. That's no big deal, we're gonna torch those off. Um, next step is to take off the wing because they kind of block some things that you need to do. Now this one has a broken wing, that's where we shot it. And what we need to do is just get that off and that's pretty easy with this guy because the bone is already separated. So I'm going to just take some shears and I'm just gonna cut it right at the joint. You wanna try and leave the fat as untouched on the body as possible, that's one. It looks like that's where he was shot a little bit, so you can see the clotting, no big deal. Go to this one here. Now this one's still attached, so what I'm gonna do is twist it backwards and just kind of separate it so it breaks, and you'll feel it pop in there, okay? So now it's kind of separated, and then you just take the shears again, and you're just cutting it right at the base there. Right where it connects, you'll feel the little joint pop out, and you're just gonna pop that with shears. And that wing's done. Get the wings off, get these big clumps of feathers off. He can be a little dirty, but you wanna clean him up as best as possible. Okay, now, next step is to cut off the legs. So, you'll see this joint right here, you bend it backwards, and then it pokes out. Now there's the joint there, and all you need to do is you really don't even need shears for that. You can just use a, a knife, actually. Perfect, so that one's off. Same thing with this one is pop it backwards. Boom, shears, or I'm sorry, knife. Cut it off, done. Okay, legs are off, we're good to go there. Wings are off, most of the feathers are off. To get all the extra feathers off and all these little ones, we're going to use a torch to do it. This is, this is overkill. You can use even really a lighter, but this will make it quick and effective. Light them up, Rich. Okay. All I'm doing is trying to do this really quickly is just run it over the feathers real quick because I'm not trying to cook the duck and that'll make it go real quick. So you'll notice all these little feathers have kind of turned to black and burned them off for the most part. So he's pretty much bald now and it took care of all the, all the feathers and stuff. You do want to make it as quick as possible. You don't want to be cooking the duck and you don't want to be charring everything. But as you see, it turned them all black and we'll rub those off after. Okay. So the next step is to actually open up the duck. Now the gutting process. So in order to do this, I want you to understand that the breasts are right here, okay? So the two breasts are right there. That's the gold. The legs, the other piece of gold for the meat. So we wanna leave these guys protected, but we have to allow a cavity to let the meat break down. 
So in order to do that, we're going to flip him over and gut him out. Now, I'm going to take the shears, I'm gonna insert them over in the vent, and I'm gonna make a hole the entire length of the duck. So I'm basically cutting out the entire spine, okay? Just this section. So you can feel the middle here, you'll feel the spine. Just a little bit on that side, a little bit on that side, and I'm making a valley all the way through the duck and then cutting off the head. Okay, now that I've cut this center of the spine out all the way up to the neck, I'm going to go to the neck right there and cut off the head. And this is probably one of the harder parts with the shears. And perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to unravel Spine. So now this is just all the guts, just the guts. And I'm just gonna literally sweep those out with my thumb. All of it should come out in one pretty good hunk. So we're completely emptied out there, cut off the tail. We're going to now take this inside and rinse it off clean. I mean, really clean. And then what we're going to do after it's cleaned, we're going to place it on a wire rack like this in the refrigerator for a week. Again, rinse it off, pat it dry, make it completely clean, put it on a rack for a week to 10 days in the refrigerator. After that, you're going to take the breasts and the legs off the carcass. You're going to put them in orange juice for 24 hours, and then you're gonna to go to the Green Man Outdoors page and look up the recipe on how to cook it and make it great. Thanks so much for learning how to dry age a duck with me. I hope you learned something. I hope you'll try it and I hope you'll keep those ducks. Thanks for tuning in. Stay green. Thank you for watching this how-to video, which is part of the Greenway Outdoors Outdoor Education Series. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more outdoor education content. Also check out the Greenway Outdoors podcast, HuntCast, and official TV show. Visit thegreenwayoutdoors.com for more information.